Lesson three, cleaning a tub in 30 seconds. You want to make sure you get everything out of the tub if there's any, um, you know, shampoo or soap or anything like that. Take your baking soda, sprinkle a little in the tub. Take your scrubby sponge, put a little water on it, and scrub. And if there are stains in the tub, you can use the same trick that you used in the toilet, which is scrubbing the baking soda in and letting it sit there mm. for as long as you need. Could be an hour, could be a day. So you wash all around, all around, all around, all around, all around. And then, uh, when I didn't bring this, but one quickie way is to take like a big yogurt container, fill it with water, and then sort of use that to rinse. Otherwise, you just do it the old fashioned way. And make sure you get Make sure you get the outside of the tub. Everything nice and clean. And the good thing about a tub is you can tell if it's clean. All clean. So a couple more notes about the, the cleaning the tub area. Um, occasionally you need to clean the surround and also up here, up here gets really disgusting. So it's the same thing with the baking soda and a scrubby and if there are little crevices you can use an old toothbrush, believe it or not, to get, see like up in here, if this is yucky, you just scrub it with the toothbrush and rinse it. Um, and another thing that often... With baking soda, right? With baking soda. And if something is really gross, like if there are stains in the bottom of the tub or uh, mold or something that you can't get up, here's the trick. You soak a white rag, put a white rag in the bottom of the tub, and pour straight bleach on it. This is only to be used in really serious situations. <laughs> and leave it there for a whole day. And it will get rid of any mold, any disgusting stains, and if it doesn't work the first day, you can try it again the next day. So you want to put it down on top of the stain? You put it down, let's say that you have a stain right here. Right. So you put the, the rag right on it, pour a little, um, just soak it with a little bit of bleach, like maybe half a cup of bleach, and leave it there. Just leave it there. And then later on, you, you come and you rinse it out, and it'll be gone. Okay? And the other thing is this, this happens to be nice and clean, but often you get mold at the bottom of the shower curtain. So what few people know, you don't have to throw away your shower curtain. This is a, some sort of vinyl and you just, let me show you. You just unhook it. There are always hooks up here. Sure. So you unhook it, take it off, throw it in the washing machine and wash it um, on warm water or doesn't matter. Um, you can put a little bit of bleach in and you take it out and you can shake it out and it's all clean. You throw in a, an old towel with it, right? You, you can throw, yes, that's a good thing to do. Thanks for reminding me. Throw in an old towel and you can put it for about a minute into the dryer and that gets all the wrinkles out of it. Otherwise, right. it's all wrinkly. And then you have a shower curtain that will last you for years. So the last thing that you do in the bathroom, you always re work your way from the top down and from the furthest place out and cleaning any room. So usually the last thing you want to do is the floor and um, for anything but a really big bathroom you don't need um, anything except for a nice sturdy rag like an old towel and your trusty vinegar and water solution. Um, and if there was a lot of hair or whatever on the floor you would sweep it first or you would sweep it out with a, a little dustpan. Okay, and then you start at the furthest away point, usually behind the toilet, but I'm just going to show you over here. Um, and you work your way out in small pieces by spraying and wiping. 
And with squares, it's easy because you can see where you left off. And then you clean that place, you move towards the door, spray a little more, and wipe. And you just work your way out of the room. And that's all you do. P.S. The vinegar smell goes away and it just smells clean.